Hey, what's going on, you guys? Where you guys in China? Your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. There we got one for season two of Lost in Space. Thought the first season was very surprising. Didn't expect it to be as good as it was. It definitely was something I feel like after I finished watching it, I'm like, oh yeah, I can't wait to season two comes out because even though this show definitely messed with my anxiety because it's based essentially this show is every single episode is like we're gonna have three at, at, at a minimum three terrible things happen to this family and they're gonna have to get out of it some kind of way and we finished off with last season when they were they were stranded and we on this uh uh this uh this new uh, this new planet and like hey they have to find a way to survive and so the, the robot was gone <sighs> Don dr smith was gone I'm not going to get into spoilers, but I'm pretty sure if you've seen even a trailer of this, you would know Dr. Smith is back. And well, well, you know exactly, if you don't know her as Dr. Smith, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The lady who is very, very selfish, one of the most evil human beings on the just that ever existed in a show. I'm talking about like she's to the point now where she's she's right there with Joffrey for me, okay? It's like most hated person on television, okay? I absolutely hate her. And she and she just was like just steady. This season I'm just watching. I'm like, okay, maybe she's gonna get better. It just no, no. She's just a, just just. I, I just wanted her to die so many times. Like it's, it's every scenario. It's just she's cunning though. She you have to give her credit in those regards. But it's just like man, can you just hurry up and die, you son of a bitch? Gosh. But uh, overall, I thought the um I should have liked season two. More than season one. Season two doesn't really focus on the robot too much, even though Will's kind of like out searching for him. It's more or less out of the same thing. It's like, hey, we're trying to get this ship. We're trying to get the Avon Sitar. We have a certain way we have to do that when we need people, certain people's help to do that. And the family, they're, they're dealing with their own. They, of course, they're always dealing with their own family drama. On top of, hey, almost dying literally every single episode. It, it's crazy. Like, they, they have, they these people, this family catches no breaks. At the maximum, throughout these 10 episodes, they might have a break for 10 minutes. And then it's like, hey, 10 minutes was too long for these people to just like being able to breathe normally. We need something drastic to happen to them. Boom. And then it happens. And it's not like the stuff happens out of nowhere. It's like, huh? Right, that makes sense. That definitely was bound to occur sooner or later. And it just, all the things just happen. It just so happens to be more than one thing on numerous occasions. But I think, I thought it was well written. I thought it was well acted. I think the family does, always does a good job. One person got on my nerves a little bit was actually Will. Will actually got on my nerves quite a bit because he was making certain decisions that you just kind of like, okay, okay. I think, I think you, you kind of like get the feeling like that you're special. And, like, you think that, you know what I'm saying, we posted, like, this, you slide with certain things, okay? And the Robinson family kind of did certain things. It was certain decisions that they made that affected everyone else. And you know, I feel like they're caring. Nonetheless, some other people made decisions that didn't necessarily make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and they were good-spirited decisions, but at the same time, it's like, I, I'm, when I'm thinking bigger picture, I'm like, I don't think that person would have necessarily did that considering what they have, you know what I'm saying, waiting for them or, or other situation. Also, I think the season ends great. I'm, I'm big on great characters and good endings, and I think this season had one hell of an ending, which is, is going to open the doors for a lot of different things, for so many different characters, especially going to this season two, which I don't, we can, which has a variety of ways it can go in, and, and, and that's one thing. And then we have it just opened the door for a lot more things. And I, and I really like where it left off. Um, it's just, like I said, this season was more of the same from the first season. It's just increased and I think a little bit better. Like, like I said, like there's a constant fear that like, hey man, these guys might not make it. And, and even though you're watching the show, you never know when some, like the day some, or when someone dies, you, you'd be like, hey, because most of the time, you kind of expect them to get out of the situation. And then if they don't, it's like, oh, well, that sucks. But, like, yeah, this is, this is definitely, I mean, you can't keep escaping deaths. <laughs> You're going to escape death so many times before, like, it catches up with you. And, uh, yeah, I think that's one, I think this is a very good show. You know, I'm definitely, I hope it gets a season three. This not getting a season three, but honestly, like, 
Ooh, it would definitely anger me a, quite a bit if I'm just being honest. It would, it would impress me. So I'm definitely looking forward to season three. Standout character for me is just uh, the entire Robinson family. Even though I hate Dr. Smith, is just she's so good. She did. Uh, let me see play, uh, who plays her. Uh, Parker Posey plays. She plays the character so just great. You can't. I can't knock her for that. Uh, and also, um. Guy who plays uh uh Wes, uh it the guy who plays Wes, I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry. I didn't go through everybody else's name, but uh, he does a great job too. So yeah, I definitely enjoy it. And I would decor definitely recommend um Lost in Space Season 2. So you guys, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought about that in the comments. Hit the like button. Forgot about y'all. I'll catch you with your life.